So, so what is Passive House? Um, I think it's really important that we, we always remember it's not just about energy, um, although that's very important, especially when we think about retrofit. Energy is kind of, it's always looming at the, the fore of your mind. But it's, it was originally dreamt up as a comfort and energy standard. This is um, an example of one of the schemes we've got in the books at the moment. Um, so it's a semi-detached house. Um, which is not a great place to start, actually, because you've got a lot of surface area to lose energy from. Like many retrofits, it's not just retrofit that the client wants. They don't just want the sort of energy benefit, but they were thinking about doing sort of major building works to this house anyway, so a substantial extension um, and a substantial dormer. Overall, we've ended up with a good floor area. Um, we've got a client who's committed to spending the money on insulating this very well and ending up with you know, a house which starts off we think over 300 kilowatt hours per square meter per year, monster, absolute monster, partly predicated by the appalling form factor and sort of the complete absence of any insulation. And we think we can get somewhere between benefit and passive house standard. If you project forward under different scenarios, so no price increase being this black line, no, so no increase in energy price, um, energy price going up by 5% is this red line, and the orange is going up at 10%, then you might be looking at sort of realistic payback between 15 and 20 years. And, you know, arguably, energy prices might carry on for 10% for some time yet. Yeah.